Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Our topic today is, what is blocking your growth? What is blocking your growth? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name, Jehovah, because there is none like thee. We thank you, King of Glory, for loving us so much. Father, as we are going to go into this topic, O oh Lord, bless this topic. Bless everybody that is watching it. Bless everybody that is going to hear. May they get something that will help them through this topic in their life. Oh, Jehovah, thank you, Father. And we are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, merciful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. What is blocking your way, child of God? I wonder if something is blocking your growth. Are you under the shade of what someone spoke over you? Told you what you couldn't do? How you are not that talented? Now that shade is limiting your life. Are you under the shade of intimidation? Afraid to step out in faith? Thinking of all the things that could go wrong? Or do you have friends that are blocking your growth, causing you to compromise, do things that are holding you back? What could you become if you got out from under that shield? How high could you go if you make some adjustments? The good news is the potential is still in you. You can still become who you were created to be. Amen. Yes. God has created you to move forward, to be good in your life. You just have to get out from under that shield. Remove what is blocking your growth and you will begin to blossom. You will go to new levels. See, there is nothing wrong with you. You have the life of Almighty God. He created you to rise higher, to be successful, to be confident, to leave your mark. Hallelujah. Amen. God knows you. And he understands you. He knows you. He knows everything that concerns you. One thing that can easily short stunt our growth is the people that we are spending time with. You need to evaluate your friendships. The people you are eating lunch with at, at the office. The neighbor you have. That neighbor you are hanging out with. Are they making you better? Pushing you up, pushing you up higher, inspiring you to reach your dreams, or are they causing you to compromise, to be mediocre, to take the easy way out? You are going to become like the people you continually associate with. The scripture says in Proverbs 22, 24 to 25, don't hang around angry people or you will become angry. It says, if you walk with wise people, you will become wise. If you want to know what you are going to be like in five years, look at your friends. If they gossip, complain about the boss, unfaithful in relationships, how to get along with, do yourself a favor. Find some new friends. Spirits are transferable. Do you know that? If your friends gossip, that spirit of gossip will get off on you. If your friends are critical, that critical spirit will end up on you. If your friends run around on their spouse, <laughs> that unfaithful spirit will start to tempt you. You may not realize it, but they are blocking your growth. They are limiting your potential. It's not your fault. You have to make the change. Okay? You have to make the change. In the scripture, God chose a young man named Gideon to lead the Israel army against the Midianites. But Gideon was afraid. He was hiding in the wine press. An angel came to him and said, in Judges 6, Judges chapter 6, verse 12, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Gideon didn't feel like a mighty hero. He didn't. I can't lead the army. I come from the poorest family. I'm the least one in my father's house here. God called him 
a mighty hero. God knew his potential. He knew Gideon had greatness in him. The problem was Gideon was under the shade of fear, the shade of intimidation. I can't do anything great. I don't come from an influential family. I'm at a disadvantage. Had the angel not come to Gideon and told him who he was, he wouldn't be tech talking about him. The angel of God was saying the truth to him. Angel was saying, in effect, Gideon, come out of hiding. Come out from your under, under that shit, that insecurity, that defeated mindset. The limited can't do it. Thinking is starting your growth. God is saying to you, you are a mighty hero. You are destined to leave your mark. But you have to make the choice like Gideon. Are you going to stay in the shield, hiding in the white press, thinking you don't have what it takes? Or are you going to step into your greatness? Are you going to believe that you are a mighty hero, equipped, empowered, and anointed? This was a destiny moment for Gideon. Either stay in the shield and the, this opportunity will pass him by. God will find someone else or take that step of faith and believe he was who God said he was. Gideon made this decision that I'm asking us to make. He got rid of what was blocking, blocking his growth, a poor self-image, low self-esteem. He saw himself a new way, not weak, defeated, limited, but as strong, courageous, as well able what he did the scripture says judges chapter 6 verse 34 the spirit of god clothed gideon with power when he got out from under the fear the intimidation god breathed on his life in a new way when he got out from in intimidation this is how you will do when god has done something in your life and bring you out from shame from trouble gideon felt a strength so you will feel, feel that strength and a courage and a boldness that he had never felt. Yes, this is how you feel. But often, but often, letting doubt, negative voices convince us that we are limited. I can't do anything great. I come from the wrong family. I don't have the talent. Who told you that? Where did those thoughts come from? That is the enemy trying to keep you under the shield. He'll love for you to believe what lies your whole life. Live with the defeated mindset, insecure, afraid to step out. This can be a destiny moment for you. God is saying, mighty hero, come out from under that shield. Mighty hero, it's time to step out up to who you were created to be. So... My brothers and sisters, God is talking to us as he sent his angel to visit Gideon. God is talking to you. Do not be afraid. Do not let fear deceive you. Fear is a deceiver. That is the weapon of Satan. Don't allow it. Get up where you are, child of God and move. God is able. He will help you. He will defeat your enemies and make you to rejoice, child of God. I don't have to go long and long on this video. God is able to help us, child of God. Weep not. Wipe your tears. God is ready for you. May you live in the land of the living and you are blessed. I pray that Every good thing will work for you in Jesus' name. Amen.